What's going on everybody? This is Mark from Solar Games. Today we're going to talk about the price of Brothers War. Um, as of today is November 23rd. So this is important for understanding price so that we're when we're talking, I'm putting a, a time on it. Um, as of right now, the singles prices, especially on the Mythic Rare, some of the select ones are still kind of moving up a little bit. They're, they've kind of stabilized, but they're kind of in their higher range, obviously, even compared to pre-release. And I don't think that's a bad thing. In fact, I think this is probably right. For the first time in a long time, I think the sets have not come to release and just completely crashed. Um, the EV for the box is around, I think, 82 to 85, um, about that range for for opening a box. It's still lower than opening a box, so basically it's telling you you don't open boxes because you're, you're gonna lose your money by doing that. But at the same time, it is also saying, hey, like this is a lot higher than what it was before for almost every single set in the last, for as long as I, I remember, right? And I know, I know, a lot of people, are, a lot of you out there who are still buying the singles are looking at the price and saying, yikes, I should have bought earlier. Can't believe the price is so high now. Like to buy a set of Urzas, I might have to spend like a hundred bucks. Buy Mishras, forget about it, 140, 120, etc. I, I understand, yes, the prices are high. Um, but again, it's not a bad thing. I wanna tell you a couple things. One is just remember, um, for last two sets now, the price, for the stores have actually increased. Booster boxes don't cost what you think they cost anymore. They cost actually about anywhere between 10 to 20% more for the store. And so of course the store, for them to make a profit, they have to charge you at least that and then some, right? So if you think about it, this is actually normal. But unfortunately, price memory is very strong. Players think draft boosters should be 100 bucks. They're probably closer to that 110 mark now, right? Uh, again, this is, you know, post like mass selling on the internet, everyone can price shop each other and pushing the price really low. But around that 110 price is more realistic for a draft booster, no longer 100 or even 95 like before. That's number one. Number two, that also means the single prices have to go up. Now, of course, with respect to Brothers War, there's a lot of goodies that's buried inside a box that's not just you know, those singles that you're thinking about. There's commander cards, especially if you're opening set boosters. There's commander cards, there's the retro artifact stuff, there's transformer cards, there's the list. All these little things add up, of course, for the set and the EV and the value. But at the same time, you know, just because somebody might open a box with the Urza and Mishra and maybe like a portal to Phyrexia and now, okay, they've already made their money with three cards, the rest of the cards are free, right? Just because that could happen to somebody, there's also somebody else who's opening boxes where they're getting five crap mythic rares and that's it, right? Not even anything good in the rare slot. And so this is one of the issues that I think that's happening. You don't want a game where there's too many feel bads. I mean, I know that um, a lot of players just wanna be players of the game. They don't really wanna involve finance into their game. More and more, and maybe this is my, my fault, more and more of the friends I play with, they care about things like, oh, you know, we open a box. Did we at least make our number? How far are we, are, are we from, you know, making, you know, exactly that number? And I think for some players, this is important because it's not just that they want to go and play a game. They also want to make sure that, like, they don't feel ripped off playing a game, right? Oh, you know what? By and large, we got our money back. You know, we might have, like, spent a little bit, like, 20 bucks to play the game. But if we sell the cards, we basically lose only 20 bucks. That's important for people because that makes you want to buy a next box. You don't want to keep buying boxes where you open the box and suddenly the box is zero, right? Because that's not meaningful. That's not fun for anyone. Why would you want to lose $100 every time for a set? Probably not worth your time or money to do that, right? So that's number one. Number two is, did I mention price memory is strong with players? So yeah, like a lot of people still think Mythic Rare should be 10 bucks, 15 bucks for the really, really good ones. And the reality is they're Mythic Rare for a reason. They're supposed to be more rare than a box, meaning you're not expected to get one of these every box. So for them to be worth 10 bucks, so even if they are a hit, they're only 10, how is that gonna encourage people to open any more products? So, I mean, the only thing that's gonna fuel the singles market for constructive play and now Pioneer, right, is gonna be coming from what, this people who play sealed and draft only? 
that's not really going to fuel the market. You, you need the stores to be opening these boxes. But stores are people too. They're putting effort and time and value into opening the boxes, listing them, selling them, taking a, a feed for, from, for the sale. And then potentially like, you know, potentially like losing money every single box they open. That's not good for them. So if you think about it, if you want to have a good ecosystem where there's a free flow of singles into the market, you actually have to make sure the boxes are engineered in a way where stores don't lose money by mass box opening them. That's really, really key. So why are certain magic cards so expensive? And, and is Brothers War overpriced, whatever? I think it's actually just right on the money. I think Brothers War is at a really, really good point. This is probably how a magic set should feel, you know, about two weeks, three weeks into the set after pre-release. Um, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. Now, I know it doesn't feel good to think that certain cards should cost as much, but maybe that speaks more to the fact that the product itself has gotten more expensive. Maybe the product shouldn't cost as much and it's not really on an individual card, but imagine if booster boxes are only 60 bucks, 40 bucks. I, I'm pretty sure then, yeah, like all the cards will be a little bit more affordable, playable, etc. The unfortunate part is that um, I don't see Wizards ever lowering the price of the draft booster box. And because of that, you'll just see all these kind of card prices go up higher because of it. So um, just understand that what we're seeing in the market, it's not high price. I think it's actually normal. In, in some ways, this is probably what it should have been a long time ago. So, yeah. Yeah, anyways, Mark Solar Games. See you later. Bye.